I am Jolene, the conference reporter, kind of wrapping it up here before the Geek Choir Summit um, reception. And I ran into Rebecca Level. You know her from, let me, let me show you her. <laughs> You probably know her from Geek Choir, and recently you're with Vitana. What's Vitana? That's right. So Vitana is this amazingly transformative nonprofit that does micro loans for students in developing countries. And then now you're going to be the interim executive fund interim director for for the Northwest interim. Entrepreneur Network. Would so you? yeah, so 2013 I've had two interim uh, executive gigs both for organizations that I love uh, truly, madly, deeply. I would not do it for anybody else, but it's a wonderful challenge. So the Northwest Entrepreneur Network um, helps entrepreneurs who start small and think big. So whether you're tech or not tech, we're all about helping businesses scale with the right education and connections. And she's, you've been on the board for a long time. I have, since I left the executive director position a number of years ago to go work at GeekWire, uh, I have stayed very close to Enwin, served on the board, and so I'm just, just stepping over to the side a bit to help out the team as we find our next long-term executive director. If you know someone, that's right, taking referrals, our level at nwen.org. You hear that? <laughs> Thank you. So you uh, you got to see some of the presentations today. I did. I wish I could have seen them all. It was a huge news day with Twitter tweeting yes. about their yes. own IPO. Amazing. So I missed uh, that news flash, but uh, I did catch some of the afternoon sessions, um, and there were definitely a couple that inspired me and and resonated with some of the stuff that I'm most passionate about. Tell us. All right, so. <laughs> She's like, okay, uh, give me the microphone, please, right? So, um, Hadi Partobi, everybody should know who he is, a wonderful angel investor and serial entrepreneur, um, has decided to take some action. A lot of people talk about how we need more developers, and there's this kind of engineering crunch, uh, even in Seattle, which creates a lot of wonderful talent. Um, but really what Hadi is getting at with code.org is the root of the problem. Uh, we can talk about recruiting engineers, uh, but really um, it's about starting when kids are young, teaching them how to code, showing them that they're really interesting careers that they can go into. Um, college is too late, high school is probably too late, and my so he's getting in really early. My nephew's 12 and he's, he's getting in there. That's, Getting in there. That's awesome. And you know, my stepson is 15. He's been doing DigiPen for three years, which is great. But you look around, and I have to tell you, he did 3D programming. No girls in the class. I mean, there's a serious um, income and earning disparity in Seattle, even though we're one of the top uh, cities in the nation for technology and for women. When you mash those two together, we are seriously underrepresented in technology jobs. Did you see? You saw the two gals up there. I did. Right? High school seniors. So they, exciting. And they were Asian, too. How about that? <laughs> what are the chances? So yeah, what, did you, yeah. what did you think about that? So I, I love seeing, you know, strong young women and men <laughs> get, it, get it on the day. student R&D? That was the student R&D. So they went through and basically did these summer projects and launched uh, initiatives that were, that were exciting to them. The first one was a hardware flag. This one was a little bit more about education. Um, but yes, I think that it, the younger, the better. They're great people like Will I Am supporting not just Code.org, but Washington First, this robotics program that shows you that math and science can be fun and cool. And so if you start there, you start with Code.org, and you sprinkle in the ingredients of having role models who have really cool, rewarding, professional jobs in technology, that's where I think we connect the dots. We start to make a serious dent in this gap that we have. I think she's talking a lot about mentoring. I'm, I'm sensing something. Are you getting empowered? Because I am. Well, we'll see what, what Rebecca's up to in the next, I don't know, a few months. And we'll check in with her. I will keep you posted. Always a pleasure, Julie. All right. Thank you. Thanks.